Hi, this is Ajay Anand and welcome to science classes from excelup.com. In this lesson, you will learn about alternation of generation in plants and this uh, topic has been taken from class 11th biology. Uh, in plants, uh, both haploid and diploid cells they have the ability to divide by mitosis and this is the unique feature of plants and because of this unique ability there is a possibility of formation of different plant bodies that is haploid plant body and diploid plant body which is not possible in any other group of organisms and because of this possibility there is alternation of uh, gaplo uh, gametophyte phase and sporophyte phase in plants. The gametophyte phase is haploid, it produces gametes and sporophyte phase is diploid, it produces spores. Okay. Now what happens that in different groups of plants, the relative length and uh, interdependency or independence of gametophyte and sporophyte phase, uh, it is different in different groups of plants. Uh, in the videos which I have made on algae, uh, bryophyte, pteridophyte, uh, gymnosperms and angiosperms, I have already talked about uh, alternation of generation in those groups specific to a uh, particular group. Now this lesson is about overall picture of alternation of generation in the plant kingdom. So based on the relative length of gametophyte and sporophyte phase in plants, the alternation of generation in plants can be of three types. Number A is haplontic, B is diplontic and C is haplodiplontic. So now as the name suggests, in case of haplontic uh, type, the haploid phase that is gametophyte phase will be dominant. In case of diplontic type, the diploid phase or sporophyte phase will be dominant and in case of haplodiplontic type, both gametophyte and sporophyte phase, they will be of almost equal length and both of them, uh, they can be independent. <coughs> now these diagrams, they uh, show comparison of the three types, haplontic, diplontic and haplodiplontic. So now let us focus on this circle. The orange part of the circle is bigger taking more share compared to the green parts. Okay? The orange portion it shows gametophyte phase and the green portion shows the sporophyte phase. The gametophyte phase is having uh, haploid ploidy that is N. Gametogenesis takes place after which gametes are formed and after that syngamy takes place that is fusion of gametes takes place or fertilization takes place once uh, syngamy takes place zygotes are formed and from then onwards the sporophyte phase begins meiosis takes place in sporophytes and after meiosis spores are formed and the gametophyte phase it begins from spores okay so in this case the sporophyte phase is not free living it depends for nutrition and survival on gametophytes and this condition is seen in most of the algae. Some examples are Bulbox, Spirogyda, uh, Clemidomonas. This figure shows the diplontic phase and now you can see the green portion of the circle has become much bigger compared to the orange portion. So gametophyte phase is not free living and sporophyte phase is free living and gametophyte phase depends on a sporophyte phase. So gametophyte phase here is usually a single cell structure like uh, in this case the sporophyte is single cell structure. Uh, the same pattern is repeated here gametophyte it produces gametes after that syngamy takes place and after syngamy the sporophyte phase begins. Uh, a sporophyte uh, produces spores uh, by meiosis and once spores are produced gametophyte phase begins. This condition is seen in uh, 
one alga that is fucus and this is uh, present in gymnosperms and angiosperms now this diagram it shows haplodiplontic type so this is the gametophyte phase this is the sporophyte phase both sporophyte and gametophyte phases they are multicellular and they are independent they can be of varying lengths in different groups so in some cases the sporophyte phase can be of a longer duration and gametophyte phase can be of shorter duration in another group the sporophyte phase can be of shorter duration and gametophyte phase can be of a longer duration but both of them they are independent to each other so they don't depend for uh, nourishment or survival on in uh, other phases unlike in diplontic and haplontic phases so haplodiplontic uh, type is seen in bryophytes and pteridophytes so haplontic is in most of the algae diplontic is one alga and in gymnosperms and angiosperms and haplodiplontic type of alternation of generation is seen in bryophytes and pteridophytes that's all for this lesson thank you